Hey, here's a quick tip on how to extend a short 808 bass hit sample inside of Sublab XL. Let's listen to the project. You can hear that the sub is actually stopping and it should be extended a little bit longer. Let's listen to it soloed. So the idea here is we create a loop using this, and then we actually just find two transient crossings that are in the same position, and we should be able to loop it. If I zoom in, one of Sublab's cool features is when I move this brace, you can actually see a check mark or an X. What we're looking for is the check mark. Essentially, this is the zero crossing, and then we wanna have a check mark on this end, and this is a perfect loop now. So if we go ahead and play the sample, can actually hear how it's extended as long as we want. As long as the sustain note is, that bass will play. We can actually hear a little bit of a clicking, and that's because this 808 bass hit actually has some crackling at the top of it, which isn't a perfect sine wave, which kind of adds that. But what we can do is use the crossfade here to make it a little bit smoother. And we can still kind of hear that, and if we really want to get rid of that clickiness, we can just roll off that high end that's not a steady sine wave. And there we go. I'm actually gonna reintroduce some of that high-end energy and go ahead and play the track again. And that's how you extend any 808 bass hit to play as long as you hold the note down inside of Sublab XL. And you can check out this incredible bass synth right now on PluginBoutique.com.